from Kingsway. Um, I've been here just under four years. Under four years? Yeah. And what do you find there is to do in the Kingsway? Um, pretty much nothing. Right. Um, you find, apart from there's the Scottish Dean gym uh -huh. further down there, but you find, I mean, this part in the flats are more deprived and you find the gym's actually quite expensive for a lot of the stuff. Right. So for community centres, I mean, I used to go, it was Drum Chapel Opportunities um, for them training and employment things. Uh -huh. So you have to go all the way to Drum Chapel. There's nothing here. You know, um, very few people know about the, the, the Dumbarton Road corridor down mm -hmm. there, and now it's hard to get access to it. And see things just for trying to get uh, computing skills, like your ECDL. I mean, you've got a drop-in up in Drum Chapel. You know, you don't have anything like that here, so you need a place where a community centre particularly for this area. Mm -hmm. And it's a good way as well to integrate people because you all the different people from different countries uh -huh. that's coming in. You know, um, because there's nothing. What made you bring that issue out on film? For the Magdalene Magdalen Sisters. Sisters aye. I was channel hopping and I heard a lady say, and they put me away because they thought I was too pretty. And that's what caught my attention. It's like, why would somebody put you away for being too pretty? And I sat and watched this documentary, and by the end of it, I was just howling. I was everything between grief and rage. Uh -huh. And then a lot of stuff came back to me about my own childhood. My mother used to work with the nuns in Nazareth House, uh -huh. which is now rightly being brought up for prosecution. And um, she, a uh, cool man, I uh, like that. It's usually my phone that goes, in fact, <laughs> you just reminded me, I'd better turn mine off. I was on a set one day and this first assistant director screamed, I mean, screamed at people, turn your f***ing phones off! <laughs> I swear, and all you know, the phones came out, mum. And then right in the middle of a take, beep, 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 and he went, who the f***? And it was his. <laughs> who the f***? <laughs> so that was him, screwed for the day. He wasn't right for shouting. Um, Aye, so my mother worked with the nuns in Nazareth House, but she worked with the old folk, mm -hmm. so she never saw what they would do to the kids, and we called them Nazi Wains, right? As Wains do, we called them the Nazi kids. Mm -hmm. My first love was a Nazi kid, because she was in Nazi House. And uh, I remember we all used to, as, 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 as boys, we would, you know, show scars and look at this and look at that and all that shit. And this lad took his shirt off and his back had been, the welds running down his back. Was on, he, he claimed that it was the nuns did it to him. Uh -huh. And to our eternal shame, none of us believed him because nuns don't do that kind of thing. So, and I remember consciously, along with all the other kids saying, no, your dad did that to you and that's why the nuns are looking after you, but you're telling us lies to try and cast aspersions upon the nuns, uh -huh. or the cream buns as they were known. And... Um, and literally it was only after that documentary, it's 30 years after that conversation that I'd had with that lad, that it suddenly dawned on me that really obviously most of those kids have been telling the truth. I did toy the idea of putting in one or two of my good nuns. Um, and quite rightly, I got a lot of stick in the, the, the Catholic press uh, worldwide for not having shown a good nun. Uh -huh. But everything that I felt about the Magdalen and, any, and all the research that I did basically point to the fact there were no good nuns. The good nuns weren't put into Magdalene. They put the bad ones in yeah. because they were to basically enforce 
uh, slavery. Whenever you do a film like Magdalene, which is uh, is an issue based kind of genre movie, you you do have to make those choices as to right, okay, how how do I wish to approach it? I.e., what do I put in? What do I leave out? Yeah. And as long as you're consistent with it, you can sleep at night. Join Kings We Are. Ah.